It's a vocal fry morning, everyone. <laughs> Why are you people here so early? <laughs> That's crazy. Time change. We did get an hour. We got an extra hour. Although I didn't because I uh, managed to uh, mess up the math thinking on my phone last night at 1 a.m. and got up an hour early. Thanks for that. <laughs> How did you mess up the math? I was like, wait, because I, I didn't update the time on my phone, so I was always working on sort of east, Eastern time. Space time. Space time, but then at like 2 in the morning last night, when you're trying to do the, okay, wait, the time is changing, so the thing is at 9, but is it actually at 8 or 9? Uh, screw it. Oh, I see. Yeah. See, I just changed the clock on my phone. Yeah, sure, yeah, if we want to go the time easy time way. It's just a difference in our management styles. Yeah. This is what we're going to talk about this morning, is management styles. <laughs> How we change clocks, that kind of thing. <laughs> we're just going to snipe at each other's technical abilities or lack thereof. Uh, Drew, is Drew? Drew is coming. No, but he, well, Drew's coming. I mean, I mean is he? <laughs> Drew is supposed to be here? Drew knows he's supposed to be here. Uh -huh. uh, having seen Drew last night, uh, the over-under on that is probably about 30%. All right. Though yeah. uh, I may call him in about a half an hour and get an apologetic Drew on the phone. Yeah, let's well, go ahead and, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to start. My prediction is that he will, he will arrive in 35 minutes. And his hair will be adorably messy. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be like, hello, guys, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. It'll be like that. Yeah. We set this this early, by the way, so that as few people attend as possible, so we have as few things to answer for as possible. <laughs> Only the people with serious grievances. <laughs> uh, is, any, is this the first Joko Cruise for anybody here? All right getting a sense of, of what we're going to be hit with. <laughs> <laughs> I know some of these faces. I'm glad this is only an hour. <laughs> For those folks who haven't, haven't been on the cruise before, um, this is basically, you know, if you're curious about how we put this enchilada together, and you know, this is enchilada class, and it will teach you how to make sauces. I'm actually... Um, since it's the management Q&A, I actually have some cues for the, for the people whose first time it is. I'm just an informal, unscientific poll. Uh, I'm interested in what brought you to the cruise, whether it was fandom of a specific performer or just you'd heard about it a bunch of times and this was the year you could finally attend. Uh, we always like to know sort of what brings people to this event. Uh, so if anyone, we, um, we can pass around Drew's mic, I guess, or you can just speak up. There's only about 75 of us in this room, so let's see if I, let's see how we go without microphones first. Just feel free to just raise your hand and pipe up, and if you're a first timer, go ahead. Uh, so my husband and I have very different travel interests. Like he doesn't like to, and I do. <laughs> I'd say those are different. <laughs> but he's a big John Colton fan, and our friends here went last year and had a great time. So this is the way, uh, and I'm kind of half geeky, so this is the way we could travel somewhere together and both. Yes, that is our, our primary infection vector is friends. And that's terrific. Joko Cruz, the vacation of compromise. <laughs> that is painfully apt in so many ways. Let's have a convention, okay, but it's on a boat. Uh, anyone else? Uh, go ahead. Uh, fan of Will, followed Will for a long time, heard about previous trips. Uh, been to Woodstock and for Paul and Storm numerous times, and then uh, came later to uh, Jonathan and stuff. And I've heard about this for several years, and this was the first year that um, I was brave enough to actually uh, put that Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in the back there? So. Um, yeah. I, so basically, I started out as a fan of Jonathan, um, and I remember hearing about the very first cruise, and it just, it took this long, and hearing from, I guess anecdotally, a number of people about how wonderful it was before we finally made the commitment. You were waiting for the data to accumulate and become statistically <laughs> significant. <laughs> that or self-aware. <laughs> uh, okay, it's, it's a reasonable sampling. Oh, um, oh go ahead. We're not, we're not first-year monkeys, but what pushed us over the edge to go in three was that we wanted, we wanted a, a significant I 
I'm sorry, I only half heard that uh, the Wait, metaphor. No, I only half heard the, the metaphor. Did you say you didn't know us from the head of a cat? Adam's, Adam's house cat. Adam's um, house cat. That one's new to me. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just going to just gonna log that away for future use. Paul likes to write down uh, metaphors. That's simple. Because he's, he's an alien, and he likes to learn how to speak. Here, he's here on Earth to harvest all of our metaphors. So, sorry I interrupted. No, I mean, that, that was really sort of... I love that you wanted to come because it was unplugged. I think yeah. that's great. Um, I have trouble doing it. <laughs> and I've been doing this for five years now. Uh, so props to you, Sarah. 